regions of the state, who can I talk to? Technology, you're able to see a lot of it. This is hyperfraction technology. I'm not going to see what Mr. McCormick's fire is going to talk about this in a minute, but I want you to think about this. When you talk about hyperfraction, hyperfraction technology has been used in Ohio since the early to mid 1950s. Over 80,000 wells drilled during that time, the vast majority of them have been in fact, I'm sure you places in the United States that uh, for a lot of well work, it needs to be hydrographic. If you're in the Rocky Mountain Plateau, we're talking about geothermal energy or whatever, for that thing to work, renewable energy, it needs to be hydrographic. As a matter of fact, I will tell you this, we're talking about the shale formations you're seeing here. Without hydrographic processes, we wouldn't have shale I want you to think about this too. I think some of our friends facing in Pennsylvania ignored the issue a little too long and did not answer basic questions. If you don't answer basic questions about your technology, you leave people with their own devices. This is what's going down the pipe. As a matter of fact, I tell you this, if you really want to see a nice presentation on this, Google this when you get home on your internet, chesapeake.com. Have a huge section on the technologies, the equipment, the chemicals, the substances, what they use with regard to that. That technology is changing. We're going from basically a reservoir system <coughs> to a closed stainless steel containment vessel system with regard to that. They're going to be using a lot of water, five million gallons. That might sound like a lot of water, but there's a lot of animal husbandry operations in this county. Where are they going to get it? They're going to get it basically from probably the local municipal water supply of the county seat. Water's getting expensive. They're probably going to recycle and use that water by tons. And how basically the material that's left is treated and basically disposed of or stored in Ohio is much different than it is in Pennsylvania. And Mr. McCormick will talk about that. 99.5% is water and sand. The other half percent are a number of chemicals and sterilizing agents that you can find in a number of products at the hardware store, the supermarket, the barber, and the beauty shop. Am I saying this is the best of all possible worlds? No. But I am going to tell you this you need to be prepared. Uh, Ohio's rules and regulations, yeah, are pretty good. Mike will talk about that. As a matter of fact, our rules and regulations actually supersede state and federal law. This is what's coming up the pipe. This is a listing of a number of heavy metals and chemical compounds that you would associate with any oil and gas exploration project, regardless of the size. You need to start establishing some environmental baselines. <coughs> 